Again, galleries. This is really a very, very useful tool. I use it all the time on a lot of sites. I use the free version. I don't uh, feel the need to upgrade to Pro. Free has always been good enough for me. You can see on the left hand side that you've got the options down here and you'll always have it at the top up here as well. There's two ways of using the galleries and I'm going to go through both. So this, this video is going to be quite long and quite in depth. So you either want to um, get a notepad and pencil ready to pause it now and get that so you can make some notes or just make some notes of the times and what you want to watch in the video so you can come back. That might be the better way of doing it actually. Um, so let's get into this. Um, <clears throat> if we look at the overview, we've got I don't know, 25 images, three galleries and one album. Now, I've already um, added to me, it's fairly easy. I'll, I'll just quickly give you a, a whistle stop tour of adding gallery images. Dead simple to do. When this loads, eventually you either create a new gallery. So I'm not going to do that. You can name it whatever you want. Or you can look in here and you can select a gallery you've made before. And add some images into the gallery so what we'll do is we will choose books add the files um, yeah we'll select all those so do control a and we'll open those they get listed and all you do then is start the upload now i'll just pause the video while this happens it's not going to take long they're not big files but i'll be back in a Okay, so the images are uploaded. You can see we've got a message up here. Uh, what we'll do now is go to uh, Manage Galleries. <coughs> and you'll see that we've got an overview of all our galleries here. I've got three at the moment. We've got Books, My Books and Test Gallery. It tells you the ID. Don't worry about that particularly. Um, images, we've got 16, 9 and 8. So what we're going to look in is um, Books. So we'll look into books and we will see that what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to not linked and save the changes. Okay, so when this is done, what we can do on this page is we can change the title we can give a description that's the path just add the new folder inside your wordpress which is fine we'll leave that as that i'm the author the presence is not linked so i'll cover that in a moment um and that's linked to this page this thing here so what i'll do is I just save the changes on the title. Now, what you can do with this now is when it's reloaded. Okay, so what you can do now is it's got linked. So if you go to this here, you can choose a page to associate. And I'll show you this way because something weird happens and it doesn't look right. Um, what we added to uh, let's have a look. Let's add it to my book gallery. When you add the page, this up here will change. Okay, so link to page book that I've published main page. So it's gone back to so it looks really weird. So we'll save the changes. And if we go and find that page, I can which one I've chosen now. Let me just go on have a quick. Okay, so what's happened is when we chose this page in here and it's linked it to this into that page, or that it, for some reason it doesn't show you the page you've linked to, which is quite sort of unintuitive. But if you go in and have a look, you will see if you bring up the page book gallery and book gallery two, because I've got two of them, that's the page I linked it to. It then adds a new page, books that I have published. 
and on that page then you have a gallery that got all the images in now these are great because you can start a slideshow we can hover over click into that that will launch if you hover the Lightroom automatically changes to suit the size of the image that you've actually put into the gallery so it makes no difference what you've put in there these are all my books okay so we'll come out of that you can start as a slideshow I'll click that on there that will reload there's a few images so it takes a little bit of a while so you might have to be careful of the size images you upload but that now will go through and it will change according to the settings you've got in the back end of the gallery okay see what's going through right if we go back to manage galleries now so that's what you do there you would choose the page and it links the gallery into there now what you can do here is and it's quite important is you set your alt and title text and your description so cover verse 3 doesn't say a lot so it'd be um, copy writing learn the secrets yada 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 I would fill it all in I can't be bothered and in the description this is the description of the book okay now if we save these changes and there's a reason I'm doing this once they've been saved okay and we save that changes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back a page because I want the gallery here we go now I might have to refresh it I might have to refresh it let's just try refreshing this page and what should have happened there we go when you put the description in it you'd actually put the description in the book or down there below the book so you can put any information you want in there so if we take that a step further let's just go back to this here okay so what I've done is I've actually put a H ref link in here now if you don't understand what that is it's basically a raw link so I really need to put in there HTTP double dash colon amazon.com what you could put in there what you would put in there is the link to the book so you put in there amazon.com and it would be forward, forward slash and then the number at the end is what you normally get with your books on the links so you put that in there you save the changes and I'll save the changes in that one and then oh that's working if you, if you don't know how to do this you can either come back to this and look at that one or just go to a page I use a demo but I just use a blank page when we would just leave it as a draft don't put a heading on it and everything I want to link I just put the text in there and I link it as I would do in an all page and take take it out and put it into here it's a very simple thing to do um, if you're not sure just ask a question I'll share it with you so if we go back to this page here and I'm now going to refresh it just so it reloads and it'll bring those changes through for me so now if we look at this this first image now and we click on that now if you look at that and you look down the bottom left hand corner you see amazon.com if I click on that is very hopefully that we should go to Amazon.com. So there you go. Now you could take this a step further. You could actually put in here some other code. So you could put in, if you want to be clever about it, you could put in target equals um, underscore blank space. In fact, hold on. Don't forget the second colon space rel equals no follow okay what that's told it to do is say I want you to open up on a new page and I don't want you to follow the link so I don't want you giving away my 
my link juice to amazon.com so what we'll do now we'll just save those changes and we'll go here while it does that I'm just going to go back a page now it should I'm just going to refresh it just in case but what happened before was when it linked it actually took over this page I didn't want that to happen I want this page to remain open so I'm looking here I'll go down to my link and it should there we go open up in a new page now so we've got our original page here so let's still go back to it it's opened up in a new page okay so that's a very powerful feature you can put in straight into your galleries okay you do that for all of them it takes a little bit of time but it's worth it especially with the the buy link straight on there okay so that's that's one way of adding in your galleries into your pages uh, there is another way uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to add a new page and in this new page I'm going to show you how to use a very very intuitive interface so this is going to be um, another gallery page click into here now on the top here you'll see you've got loads and loads of different icons the one you want is on the end attach a next gen gallery to post so you click on that and it brings up this little interface and this is very very clever very very powerful and in my mind it's the easier way to do things so you've got all the options up here so you can add your images direct you can manage the galleries albums and manage your tags all in one place this gives you the option of where how to display the galleries okay so what we're going to do is we will um, let's have a look let's have a look at this one here just for the heck of it okay and you can also come down to here what would you like to display galleries albums random images random recent images or tags okay so we're just going to choose I want to choose albums okay select an album when you've done all the one I made before okay you can put a slug in if you want um, I'm not going to bother to be honest customize the display settings so next in basic thumbnails so you can do whatever you want in there we'll just do basic image browser that matches my display type which I've chosen to be it's done that it's changed that to me now and with image browser I'm going to leave the image thumbnail settings the same I don't want them to come out any bigger they take too long to load okay and we're going to save that in fact it shows you there those are the two galleries I got inside my album I made okay so I've made albums and I've added them to a larger album and now I've chosen those so I'm going to save that I know this is a little bit complicated but I'm hoping that's there we go okay so it looks like nothing it just looks like one image okay so we're going to save the draft and once that's saved we're going to preview it oh, what's that there? I'm just going to get rid of some of these tabs don't need them anymore okay let's do a bit of research with that one because it's changed since the last time I looked into depth into it, I use it for my own purposes. I wanted to make sure you had the fullest overview possible, so I've done a little research. Okay, so we save it, so we'll have a quick preview of that. So we'll click on preview, that will load it into a new page. And we'll bring that up. Okay. Let that load in. Another gallery page, here we go. That was the one I had previously, now it's changed it. My internet's a little bit slow, a bit cluggy, but here we go. So we've got my books and we've got test gallery, so they've sat on the page immediately. I can click into these and they will open up. So now we've got any gallery demo album my books, which is the album name, and there we go, and we can just flick through. Same way, and it's a bit claggy, but there you go. And also, you can go through those. So you can see that that's a really efficient way of adding, and you can play around with those settings inside here. You know, you just play around, see what you can find out. If 
find anything interesting make sure you post it as a post or put it into the group or whatever you want but there's lots of different options as I say you can look in here you can actually add gallery images from here it's thinking about it there it goes okay so it's the same interface as when you add things at the root there's all my galleries you can go in and play around with that there's your albums you can actually make your albums in here okay so the demo if you make a different album you can make them in there and then add them okay you can add new album you can do what you want honestly it's a fantastic piece of kit this is um you can put tags in here you can rename your tags you can do whatever you want with your tags in there okay and tags again are very useful for finding photographs within your galleries it's a very powerful feature so anyway that's the end of this video i'm sorry it's a bit long but it's, it's quite an in-depth subject Hope you get a lot from it. As I say, get a notepad and pen or pencil and as you go through, just make a note of what you want to learn and the, the time on the video so you can come back to it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.